What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. We're seeing a massive, massive shift here in stores like Walmart and Home Depot and retailers across the country and from consumers, everyday people like you and I, low middle class across the United States and how it's affecting our economy. And right now here, I'll show you what Walmart is doing here in a moment, which might surprise you. But take a look here at what the new jobs report that just came out that they're saying is the strangest employment report for quite a while and is causing a lot of major retail retailers to actually close their doors, which I'll get to here in a moment. Take a listen to this. Great to have you both here with us on this morning. Uh, happy Jobs Day to you both, who I, I believe celebrate as well. Um, so, Greg, <laughs> you're here in studio. Let's begin with you. I was kind of looking at your facial reactions as this number came out. Much larger than expected on the headline print. Much larger than expected when it comes to the headline jobs print, but I think we have to dig a little bit deeper sure. into this report and look at some of the underlying indicators. On the jobs front, uh, there was still fairly low diffusion of job growth. 60% of private sector occupations saw job growth. That's on the lower end. Hours worked fell back 0.3%. That's below pre-pandemic levels now. Those are type of indicators that we have to pay attention to. The breadth and diffusion of the job market is as important as the headline print. We also saw that the unemployment rate rose. And if you look at the household survey, there was a massive drop, 300,000, 310,000 jobs lost on the household survey front and an increase of over 400,000 in the number of unemployed. These are also important data points that we have to keep in mind when we're looking at the breadth of the job market. So, so what do they tell us? They tell us that we have to be careful not to assume that this 300 plus thousand jobs headline print is as strong as it would otherwise indicate. That means that for the Fed that is looking at these numbers with a lot of care and a lot of attention, they have to really look at the broad set of numbers, not just focus on one headline print, which is indeed very strong and shows robustness in the labor market. But there are some cracks starting to appear in the foundation. And Emily, does that help then maybe explain why there doesn't seem to be that clear of a reaction in the market that says the Fed's going to go again? I mean, for example, I'm looking at the Fed Watch tool from the CME, and it hasn't budged that much. Most uh, participants are still looking for a pause at the June meeting. Yeah, Julie, I've been refreshing the CME tool yeah. myself here <laughs> and seeing the same thing. And it might be to what Greg is speaking of. Yeah, so it's interesting here because we're seeing kind of a tale of two stories here. You can see here Walmart closing more locations Dollar stores in more demand. Walmart announces plans to close dozens of stores nationwide in 2023. Big companies to close more stores. Dollar stores on the rise. Customer says, never in a million years would you think that Walmarts would close. Now, this is not just a few employees. These are entire stores closing. You guys can let me know your thoughts here on this. Why do you think dollar stores are on the rise and even Walmart not being cheap enough with today's economy? In addition to this, we're also seeing here that um, in addition to this, we're seeing thousands of layoffs just in sectors from Walmart. Walmart laying off here just announced here about a month ago. They laid off 2,000 warehouse, warehouse workers alone um, just from the warehouse department in addition to closing entire stores when our economy is supposed to be uh, you know, growing and coming out of um, you know, or you know, supposed to be getting better here, right? And you can see here the U.S. credit rating uh, is not going to be, it's, it's still on a negative watch here, even though they closed the debt ceiling deal. Uh, U.S. credit rating to stay on Fitch's negative watch rating despite the debt limit deal because um, what Congress did and how close we were to a default 
is going to leave a potential permanent mark here on the country. So we're seeing, um, you can even see it right here. Why is Walmart closing some locations? Yeah, so we're seeing uh, a lot of news here on the economy struggling and the Fed may continue raising rates. And every time they raise rates, even if they pause, which is a 50-50 chance here at this point going forward, um, the longer they keep rates high, it's going to hurt large companies as well as low and middle class Americans because large companies borrow money and uh, issue bonds and things like that. And it costs them in the long run, okay? Because interest costs large companies like Walmart and even companies like Apple and stuff like that. When they issue a debt, that interest costs them in the long run. And what do they do? Uh, when that interest starts piling up, they end up laying off workers. Remember that the U.S. government is paying almost or somewhere around in the range of $1 trillion per year in interest alone. A trillion dollars every year, just poof, gone. Just an in interest. Yeah, and now we're seeing massive, massive co uh, companies like Walmart and Amazon laying off workers by the thousands and closing entire stores. Uh, and remember that I think it was uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren uh, read through Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell's notes and said that uh, the raising of these interest rates would cause up to 2 million jobs lost because of what the Fed is doing. So this is kind of their plan. I don't know if you want to say that, you know, the evil plan of the Fed, but this is kind of what needs to be done to bring inflation down. Yeah, it's uh, it's a double-edged sword, and this is kind of what is in the progress of or the process of happening. Yeah, so as they put the pain and put the squeeze on everything, we're seeing a, a, a kind of a contraction of the economy. And uh, I hate to say it, but uh, when they do this, when they raise interest rates, it puts the squeeze on companies, the low and the middle class Americans, and then we inch closer to recession. And even if they don't see an official recession, um, in a lot of ways, it hits people hard. I mean, we, we see two out of three Americans living paycheck to paycheck. Companies laying off workers by the thousands or in total for the United States, millions of people end up losing their jobs because of how many small and middle class uh, you know, businesses end up closing their doors. Large companies have to lay off to kind of uh, con constrict a little bit because of how much interest is costing them, interest rates are costing them. And uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts on this, but this is going to be uh, some pain on the economy for quite a while until interest rates come down. It's because people don't even realize how much this affects the entire ecosystem. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date. If you haven't yet, subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos here on our YouTube channel every day. And thank you so much for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. The Bible being banned. That's right. You can click here to see how. And gas prices and oil prices are going to be spiking here. Click here to see the details on that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.